Hey friends, I'm back, it's Abba J. How are your holidays going? They're going pretty good for me, with me spending time with my family. I'm pretty sure they're going good for you. And I'm pumped up for tomorrow. Two words, Christmas presents. And to wish you guys a happy holidays in a creative way, I made this Christmas tree in Python. The cool programming language with the snake. And if you don't have a Christmas tree, where will Santa put your gifts? I don't know, in your door? Like an Amazon package? That's not the special. Come on. Come on, we need the Christmas tree. And I made a Python drawing of a Christmas tree to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Let's get to it. Hey guys, I'm here with my Python editor, Trinket, and it's a really nice Python editor. And I'm using Trinket today to show you the program and you guys can follow along. Let's get started. So we're making a Christmas tree, right? And we want to draw. And if we want to draw, we'll have to import a library. Remember what I told you guys last time? Turtle. Turtle is a really, really cool library where you can make all these cool drawings and shapes. So let me go ahead and import turtle. So I have to type in from turtle import stop. Oops. Okay, what does this mean? I'm importing all the packages from the turtle library. And what we're going to do now is we're going to set where we're going to start our drawing. Basically X and Y. Remember, X is horizontal and Y is vertical. So what we have to do is we have to do set X and I'm going to keep it at zero. And we're going to do a set Y, which I'm going to put as um, negative 100, so it would go down a bit. Okay guys, so we have set X and set Y where they're positioning our start of our draw. Imagine how a Christmas tree looks like. It's like a zigzag tree, right? And we're gonna make something like that. So I'll start from the base. And let me start with doing a forward. And there. And then we'll have to put the parentheses and see how much we wanna go. And when I uh, did this, I wanted to go around 100. And guys, I just realized why there's this line that keeps popping up. Since I'm changing the position to a different place, I have to start the uh, turtle program with pen up. Basically, say you have a pen. You're keeping it up so it doesn't draw. And pen drawing would mean like on the paper drawing. Okay. Pen up, okay. And then we're going to do the pen down right here. Oops. Okay guys, so first we have to start off with making this arrow point to the left side. So we can draw the left side of the tree first. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this left 180 degrees. So left 180. Okay, and we're going to run it and see. Okay, and it's turning that way. And then we're going to first have to do then we're going to do a forward 100 to, and then let's just see um, how, how it will look. Okay, we have our line. Our first drawing there in this program. Okay, now we're going to have to turn right if we want to make the big curves. So let me do that real quick. I experimented with these angles and 135 degree worked for me. Based on the size of your line, maybe a different angle would work, but 135 would work for me, basically. 
and you have to make sure the angle is pretty much perfect because you're going to be using that same degree pretty much every single line of code. Basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do right 135 degrees. All right, and there we go. Perfect, it's turning in that cracked angle and I wanted this to match really, so I'm going to do like a, so it would be like kind of short of this. So I'm going to try doing a forward. Now we have to draw the line for the first, like for the curvish area. And I'm going to do like a forward 80 or so here. And again, these numbers would depend on your size. It's a crucial factor. I mean, and now let me uh, run this code real quick. And there we go. Okay. Basically what we did is we're basically going to repeat that many times around the entire tree. Basically, those are the four lines you need for your tree. Repeat them as many times as you want for your curves. Let me show you one more before you can optimize them. So let me get, let me just copy all, copy this and just change the parameters is the easy thing that worked out for me. Okay, 135 T. Okay guys. And I think all my parameters is set. And let me run this. There we go. We got our second hook. And we're just basically repeating the same steps over and over again. I mean, remember what we have to do when we can reuse the same code? A function. So what we're going to do is we're going to define a function called hook. Okay, so define hook and we're going to have our parameters and how many parameters we'll need we'll need four so we'll have x y z and v and now we just have to put this uh, teeny bit of this code in the function so wait let me just take this part oops this part and put it in the function. Tab. Tab. Okay. Basically, we don't need those numbers inside here. As you can see, I deleted them. We can. We have to add these x, y, z, and v for me inside these uh, parentheses. So let's say x, y, z, and v. Okay. And just see how simple your program will become. So let me just do, watch. So watch and learn, people. Hook, all I'll do is just call the function. Hook, parenthesis, and we're going to have to put in the parameters we need. Uh, so we're gonna have 180 for my left, 100 for my forward, and then a 60 for my other forward. Uh, let me just, now we can just delete this. Uh, change this one real quick. Hook, hook, parenthesis, 135, 30, 135, 60. 135, 30, 135, 60. And let me just run the, okay, let me first delete this. I will just put it twice. And now let's run it. There we go. And we can just continue doing this five more times, I, I, three more times. So we could like finish the right side and then just the opposite, complete opposite on the other side. Okay guys, I'm just changing the numbers and making the rest of the tree. Just follow through and change the number according to your size.
Okay, guys, as you can see in the code, I changed it to left side and right side. And do it to according your sizes. Now I'm going to run it and see. So let's do it. Let me, oop, let me just move that. Oop, that lines down from before. And that Christmas tree is working out pretty good now. It's been working its way up. I'm taking the turn, coming down. Perfect. Right there. And guys, what color is a tree? Green. It's no fun if it's a white tree, unless it's snowed on it. Well, that'd be cool. But it's a green tree, I mean, right? So basically what you do is set the color, begin fill, and fill. So, so what we're going to do is fill color. And then we're going to do um, begin. Or sorry, I forgot to uh, put the color in. I'll we'll have to put quotes green. And we're going to do begin fill, begin fill. And then we're going to put it down here. And we're going to put it down here and fill. Basically, we're setting the color and telling Turtle to fill all the drawing we did so far. So let me run this. Bingo, it's green. And basically what we're going to have to do is like the bark or the thing that st that holds up the Christmas tree. The bark. And now we're going to, um, we'll have to do a right, no, uh, we'll have to do, sorry, a left 90 degrees. Remember, it has to point down. So we're going to have to do a forward 200. So basically pointing down and drawing the line down. Let me just show you how to do it. So forward 200 and then we're going to have to do the left, we're going to have to turn and a forward, the right 90, and then we're going to have to do like a forward 20-ish, and then we're going to do a forward 20, and then we're going to have to do a, and uh, let me just finish it up, and I'll explain how I did it after. So right 90. I'm going to turn every light right into a light. Okay guys, I'm just running my program and let me show you my final result. Uh, not final, I, have to, I put the color in for the bark basically. Right there. And I hope you understood how you draw those two lines. I basically did like forward 200, like moving it down and then going to the side and moving it up again, back up. So I can make that like rectangular shape. And now let me just uh, add the color. So I'll do saddle brown, I'll do saddle brown. It's just like a, one of like those fancy colors you'll see. Saddle brown, uh, I forgot the coats, so let me. And now I have to do begin fill. And underscore fill. And now let me run this. And I think this should be your final result. Bingo. You know what guys, after I did all this, my mom suggested, how about a star? And I'll tell you how to do the star, I'll just do the code and then I'll explain it after. So let me add a function first. Let me define. So four and and range five. Okay guys, so I just made a new function called star, where I'm creating a for loop, basically it's looping five times, and I put 450, write 144, so the star is just five lines. Uh, basically, um, draw a line, change the angle. Draw a line, change the angle. Basically, that's a star. Now I need to call this function. And so right now what I have to do is since my pen is here, I'll have to turn my pen up and go all the way to the tippy top, because that's where the star is. So basically what we'll have to do is since our pen is here, 
we're gonna have to make sure it doesn't draw that line because that would be pretty weird. So we have our pen right here and we'll move it all the way up to the top and that's like 170 and we're going to make the star up here. So let me tell you how to do that. Basically we have to put the pen up first, that's the main part. I'm going to basically, I'm going to do forward 170 as I said. Oh, forgot to do that parenthesis. Okay, and we are going to, from the forward 170, then we're going to call our function stop. I had my pen up, come on me. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my pen down now. <laughs> And I'm going to put the parentheses and run the code. There we go. Oh, my charger's running out. Ah, charge! There we go. And we're there's our star. Come on, guys. We got. We can do better than that. And what is that position? Ay ay ay. We gotta change that. Okay. Let me just change the position first. Uh, based on the position, let me try this. Okay, guys, let me try this. I, th I thought about the stats a bit. And I think I'll have to change that to a right. Okay, guys, let me run this and see if it would work. Woohoo, let's relax. Okay, it's coming, the green, now it's going up, woohoo, we got it, mm. why is the star white, we didn't fill it gold, so we're going to have to fill it gold, uh, fill color, right over the star, um, and I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, gold, and let me do, okay, begin underscore fill. And then we're going to do right under here, end underscore. Okay, ready? Let's run this. Oh, forgot the parentheses. Man, why am I forgetting though? Okay, let's run. Oh, come on, come on, come on. As you can see, like, that's, uh, it's like green. Look at the, it's green. That's, that's, uh, yeah, brown, brown. Now it's, now it's gold. I think it's gonna work. It worked. Let's go. Okay, guys, in conclusion today, we learned about more about functions. We went depth into turtle, and we had some fun. That's the main thing. Okay, guys, take this as an example. Use your own angles and sizes and all cool, beautiful ideas. We can put some ornaments. Well, I can't wait to see those. Um, if you guys uh, want to, you can share, post your links in the comments. Where I love to see those. I would love to see your projects and your beautiful Christmas trees. I hope you enjoyed this Christmas tree, and I hope you guys have a hot, happy holidays. And I'll see you next time. Keep coding. Keep having fun.